Hello everybody and welcome. Today I will be showing you the flip through of Maria Troll's latest book, Flora. Uh, now I know it's been published for a while, but this is the US edition, which just came out this month. Um, and I'm super excited about it. The um, book is the typical hardbound with the dark tan um, fabric binding and the gold leafing. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it seems like it has about the same amount of illustrations in her other book. Here is a bit of a introduction to um, the artist and the book. And we'll get right into it. Um, the paper is an off-white um, kind of cream paper. Um, here's the nameplate page. And this is the first spread. Um, first off, I want to say I love this book because there's a lot more variety in the characters of the book. Um, but still in the very classic Maria Troll style. Um, here's another page. A little whisk. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, just fun little creatures. Um, I love this page right here. I think it's really pretty. Um, hey, that's a magnolia tree, I believe. That's fun. Uh, oh, and I love this picture right here. Um, this little girl is in several of the pictures in here and reminds me of Thumbelina. Also in this book, there's more bordered pictures, which aren't really found in um, Nightfall or Midnight Garden. There are some in um, Vivi Van Soker, I believe is what it's called. Um, we have a little teapot house. Okay, this boy, I don't know why, but this little fairy boy reminds me of Peter Pan. And, ooh, I love this tree house. That's really fun. I feel like, okay, here are some of her signature black backgrounds. I think in this book, there aren't as many as in her other ones, but I could be wrong on that. <laughs> Maybe it just seems like the less because they want more, you know? Here's some more bordered pictures. Another thing to note is I feel like this one, this book has a lot more smaller detailed foliage, whereas in some of her previous books, I feel like those details were larger. Um, so that's something to note if you don't really like doing coloring with small details. Um, this might not be your cup of tea. Oh, this is really cute with the kitty on her lap. Um, here's some more bordered pictures. I love how she has some of the elements coming out of the border. That makes a really fun effect. Oh, here's another fairy boy. Oh, this is cute. Is this? I'm trying to figure out what this is. I'm not sure. If oh, she's writing the... Huh, I'm not sure. Um, here's some more black background. I also really like this picture. Um, it's just really pretty. More bouquets. Here's another teapot house. A different kind of teapot. Here's a frog prince, and oh, here's a larger character. Yeah, this book um, has a lot of her Maria Troll's prior flavors. Um, like this, she has another maiden in the water with the lily pads, but it's very, still very different. So it's really fun to see. Um, how her style has 
evolved over time, even though it's still very much the same. Her content has evolved just bit by bit. There's some more fairies. I love this little <laughs> um, water nymph dude. That's going to be really fun to do. Um, <clears throat> here's another just like little animal scenes. There's not as many foxes in this one. Um, I think there's only a couple, but I love, um, I, I have great plants for this page right here. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, she's holding a little caterpillar. It's just really fun. Yeah, there's a, there are a lot of border pictures in this one. It's interesting. I'm curious as to why she decided to do that. It might be because a lot of people um, talked about how difficult it is to get down in the margin right here because this page is flush with the margin, whereas having a border gives you a lot more wiggle room for coloring these elements in. Here's an older fairy dude with some chestnut. Yeah, these are chestnuts. Uh, <coughs> oh, I love this page. So to me, this seems like a it could be a double page spread because these flowers are the same, or you could do it as a single page spread. And I just realized she, Marilla Troll, mostly has individual pages. Each page is its own thing. Oh, I am so excited about this one. This one is just so fun. That is so... I don't know. Just makes me happy to see. Here we have an older fairy, which um, is not seen very often to have um, older... Uh, oh man, I just forgot the word. <laughs> older characters in a coloring book. She reminds me of like a train up or something. Here we have some more black backgrounds. I really love this composition right here where the flowers twirl around and it brings it back around to the bird. That's really clever. Here we have some grapes, some other fruit, and oh, there's little dragons. I don't know if I've seen dragons before. In her books. But then again, I don't have Botanica, so I don't know if there's any there. Some more black background. Um, some little mushroom houses. And here we have something that I also haven't seen very much of in her books. Is more um seasonal themed. So this is obviously you know, fall, cooler weather, we have a jack-o'-lantern, and we have this little angel and a winter scene, and some indoor succulents, <coughs> or plants actually, those aren't succulents, um, and another winter scene. This is very different from a lot of things that she usually has in her books. And then here we have a plant register. Um, so there's a lot of different plants. Um, and then, this is new, there's a birds, insects, and amphibians register for if there's a specific um, animal that you want to follow the reference of. You can Look at this and refer to it. So I thought that was a nice touch. And here's the test page, which is really great too because I feel like um, certain paper reacts differently to different mediums. But anyways, that is the end of that flip through and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you next time. Happy coloring!